Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Kame House Party. I'm Vince. I'm Aaron. And this is the podcast where we watch every episode and iteration of Dragon Ball, and then we talk about it in a fun, comedic sort of way. You know, we keep it light. We keep it fun. We keep it tight. Um, and, you know, it, it's supposed to be fun. Right, Aaron? This is just, yeah. just pure fun. Are we having fun? What'd you say? I said, aren't we having fun? We are Can't having fun. Can't you tell? I go, I'll, I'll I'm, turn this podcast around. We're having so much fun, we're speaking through our teeth now. This podcast costs us a lot of money, and we're going to fucking enjoy it. That's damn right. You better believe it. Oh, I'm oh, so I'm You so ungrateful right. audience. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 Aaron, buddy. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 uh, sorry. Our audience, about, our audience is boss. one of the best. One of the they best. Are. Under the you sun. know what internet audiences are the best audiences <laughs> in the world. Well, I, I I don't know if we want to make that sweeping sweeping generalization. I'm just talking about ours because uh, uh, they're pretty damn dope. Hmm. Yeah, we'll find that out later. Ooh, teaser. Yeah, teaser pleaser. Uh, and before we get into the episode proper, we gotta do some kame housekeeping. Um, the likes of which. Uh, I, I'm so excited to do because we start off. Well, you don't have to do it this week. <laughs> I know. I know. That's why. Because we start your, off your with Your name's the... not on the chore list this week. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm excited to give Aaron a chore. Uh, <laughs> and that chore is called the One Minute Roundup. That's the sound of a tap. <laughs> Slide the co- beer over. Catch beer. Go, 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 go. Another. <sighs> Sir, you have had 20 sarsaparillas. Then I'll have 20 more. Because you know what? I found gold in them, our hills. And Wait I'm a minute. Are you drunk? Huh? You, you sound drunk for having drunk a non-alcoholic beverage. Oh, uh, you mean... This isn't alcohol? Come on, I feel drunk. It's a sugary drink for children and babies. Oh, oh, now, now I'm embarrassed. Elderly women. Oh. Anyone with a heart condition. Oh, come uh, on, man. This is just like the time they told me O'Doul's was a good beer to drink. Oh, I'm so gullible. There's I mean, probably not even gold in them in our hills. Oh gosh! Yeah, that's a wait. That's a sugar mine. Oh, that's why it's all white and it melts in my pockets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, we got to an end to that one. We did. We wrapped that one up. Uh, so, yeah, if you're yeah. new to the show, the one minute roundup uh, is where Aaron has one minute to summarize everything that has happened in Dragon Ball up until this point, and we. Like to ease ourselves into it with a strange Western scene. <laughs> um, and when one of us breaks, the scene ends and Aaron can do the one minute roundup. We do mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. for you, the listener, because we don't want to force you to go back and listen to every episode uh, or watch every episode of this show. Uh, just like episodes of Dragon Ball proper. There's usually some VO recapping what happened last week. So we're just doing this for the entire mm-hmm. run. How about Wait, that? that's a f- hold on. First of all, that's the perfect way to put it. Second of all, we've never said it like that before. I, it's taken us eighty-seven episodes Eight. to, to get to, yeah, to yeah, boil yeah. it down, to distill it into that. Mm. It came to me like a flash of lightning. Yeah, we dang done goofed up. We dang done goofed up. But now, now we have that recorded, right? You, you, you're recording. Yeah. Right, because I'm recording. Yeah, 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 and so yeah, yeah. yeah, we got that recorded, so uh, we can use that forever now if we remember from the last. Mm. Week. <laughs> yeah, we will. We will. And then the final piece of comedy housekeeping. Wait, I didn't do it. Wait. Oh shoot! Yeah, I almost <laughs> get, I almost let you off the hook, motherfucker. <laughs> and three, two, one. Dragon Ball is a story of Goku, who's a little boy who can turn to a giant ape, and he's 
and usually revolves around seven magic crystal balls that if you collect them all, you get to make any wish you want. In his first adventure, he teams up with Bulma and a couple other crazy characters to fight a little goblin guy named Pilaf from taking over the world. And then after that, he goes to train with a pervert named Roshi and his best friend Krillin to try and get swole, and he does so by entering the Tenkaichi tournament. He gets second place in it, uh, which ain't bad. Then he goes off to find one of those balls. He doesn't care about making a wish. He just wants it because it was his grandpa's. And in order to do this, he has to beat up an entire army. That's right, an entire army and all their generals. And he does it. Then he still can't find it, so he goes to a fortune teller who's like, nope, you got to fight my five different monsters. One of them is your grandpa. Uh, he does it. He fights all of the monsters. Uh and then he goes off to train for three years by himself to get swole for the next Tenkaichi tournament, which is happening right now. And they're in the preliminaries. Yeah, to the end. Ooh, nice. You got a lot ooh. of good specifics ooh, there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, I like we that one. Yeah. We, rarely, we rarely mention his grandpapa. I know. People need to know. Because that, that was a good reveal in that episode. Yeah. I thought we had fun with that. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, uh, our so Aaron, thank you so much. And you're welcome, audience. Now I'm back. Speaking through hey, my teeth. Uh, you're having too much fun. I'm having too much fun. Uh, the final piece of comedy housekeeping we got to do is we got to let you know, in case you're new to the podcast. If so, welcome again. Um, Aaron and I, we watch two different epi- two different versions of this show. I watch the English dubbed version. Aaron watches the Japanese English subtitled version. We do that uh, because a lot of things get, you know, lost in translation and uh, context is changed for different audiences and we want to make sure we covered all of that for you guys and uh, the first thing that comes up is typically the title now Aaron yes would you like to go first or would you like me to go first I I can go first have at it have at it old chum episode 86 of Dragon Ball roughly translated title is it's decided the Eight Warriors. Okay, okay. I, I like that. It's a direct information. Which is untrue. <laughs> Which is more than some of the episode titles that we've gotten in the past. No, no, but like, we don't, I mean, I guess it's technically right. Technically. We don't find out who all eight warriors are, though. True. Don't say that. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Oh, man, I want to talk about this episode. So I'll get to mine now. Yeah. Um, episode 86. Then there were eight. Oh, that sounds ominous. Yeah, it does sound ominous, doesn't sounds, it? I know. Then by Agatha Christie. <laughs> it's a locked room martial arts tournament. Mm. Who punched me? <laughs> I could have been anyone. Everyone here is excel at fighting. We have Yamcha and Master Master Crane, and then we have Felicity. <laughs> the, young, <laughs> the young debutante. Yes. Uh, we have, of course, uh, last year's 10 kg tournament winner, Jackie Chun, who is mm. on the, who was in this room for some nefarious reason, I bet. Yes. Well, it turns out they all did it. They all did it. <laughs> Guys, it's a, I'm pretty sure that's how... The Orient Express, murder on the Orient Express ends, right? Everybody had a hand in killing so and so. They thanks. all they all did it at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> they can't one, <laughs> two, three. three. Bang. <laughs> Chop. Stab. Slice. Uh, poison. <laughs> Bludgeon. And scene. Scene. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. That- yeah, killed by scene. Killed by a scene. Killed by uh, the dropping of a curtain. No. No. <laughs> My soft bones. <laughs> that velvet's too thick. Oh, man. Nobody ever talks about the heft of velvet. A stage curtain is is heavy duty, man. Yeah, man. I've been hit with one of those. We had uh we had a, we actually had a stage in my church with like curtains. Uh, you know, when we between Sunday school and whatnot, or if we're just being little shits, it's like, let's go play with these curtains because there's pulleys. Yeah, it's pulleys. You're te- you're, you you learn about hell. a simple machine at an early age. Yeah, and the dangers. And the dangers of said simple yeah. machines. I mean, I've never met a wedge I could trust. <laughs> <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> neither lemon nor lime. <laughs> Get that out of my Corona. Oh, man. That cor- I, I could go for a Corona right now. 
Mm-hmm. I know, because we need to. I mean, it's a good time to sit back and relax and watch. I yeah, you know what? Some good fights. Some yeah, impress. You know what? Some impressive fights. Some not, dope not animation too. Yeah, not long, but but some good. good stuff. And like uh, we were we were talking about this a little bit off air before we started, but this episode is just paced really well. And they do a lot of really cool things. And, like, I'm hoping that the rest of the this tournament will maybe be... I, I mean, it's probably too much to hope for. But, you know, I just want to make... I, I would love it if the rest of the, the tournament had all of, had all of these elements, you know, working around each other and, like, having fun with some of it and making it intense at times when it needs to be and all that kind of stuff. Because they, I think they do a good job. Yeah, let's get past these scrubs. Yes, basically, that's what that's this is all wish. about. Yes, um, and like the this episode opens with a bit of a recap, blah blah blah, the VO, um, and then they jump right in to Goku v King Choppa, and this was this was uh, hinted at and alluded to in the first episode. It was pretty obvious what was going to happen. Goku was going to fight King Choppa. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they built it up because he he won a Tenkaichi tournament, and when mm-hmm. he did, no one laid a finger on him. And they start. Yeah. this starts with Goku <laughs> just well, punching him right in the fucking yeah. chin. Laying several fingers upon him. Yes, yes. As soon as the bells rung. But they did, they did, the, they did some really cool animation stuff that I think... Uh, kind of in like not necessarily like directly inspired, but like when Goku does this first lunge, we get that kind of um, like you see the air moving around him, and it's kind of like giving him that aura, like when he flies and Z and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, this is where it starts, and that's why I'm having so much fun watching these. Is that like this is where it all starts? They get all these little things and they build it out. Um, this is, I mean, as as overpowered as Goku has been always. This, is, I think, this. You're right. This is the start of his superpowered nature. Yeah, because as they're as they're watching this fight, it's 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 pretty clear that Goku has gone beyond plus ultra to to steal from another anime, and uh, that like even. Roshi, i.e. Jackie Chun, is worried. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I thought he that is, was really good. He's shaken. Like uh so the, the the way the fight goes is like I and I'll just I'm just gonna pinpoint uh mm-hmm. the one mm-hmm. thing that I thought was the coolest because you should like if you like fights in anime, this is a good one to watch. It's short. Um I'm sure you can probably find a clip of it online. Uh but the animation yeah. is like really good. Like there's there's some wackadoo elements to it yep, that yep. you're not going to expect, and uh, I'm just going to describe this one this like the way that the fight ends is uh, Goku dodging a punch from King Choppa after he uses his eight hands technique, um, the and Hashuken precisely the uh, eight hand punch, and he he's in the air, and we all know that when you're in the air, you're a pretty easy target because you have to come down sometime. Goku dive bombs the stage. Also, I want to point out. He touches the ceiling, mm-hmm. which isn't that out of the ring? Hmm. Judges. <laughs> I like his tail. Oh. oh, he'll be good. No, that's the kid that got second place last year. We got. Oh God, we got to put him in. Yeah, he's got. to go. Oh, he's got to go in. Yeah, the ratings. We don't oh want to upset God, yeah. dog president. <laughs> yeah, he'll he's, have our bones look, buried uh, in his yard. <laughs> yeah. You were here. What happened to Fred? Yeah, I did. Awful. He, he got chewed up. Chewed up. He was uh, <laughs> not like you know when you get chewed out or somebody yells no. at you. He got chewed up no, like a chew toy. In the backyard. Yeah. Buried in the backyard. He made Dog President made him swallow a squeaker. Oh, so when he bit into his soft, soft belly, he would just go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. The fight's over. <laughs> uh, <pff>, allowed. <laughs> Yeah, yes, he wins. Wins. And, and see. see. Uh, but yeah, I guess that cleared up why Goku was allowed to continue fighting after touching outside I, the ring. I see what you're saying, and I'm... That is technically... Technically. Out of the... what? What is out of the ring, though? So the ring <laughs> is... Is it just a cube? 
And the only time where a ring out happens, Aaron quotes, is when you step out of that cube. But oh. the height of that cube is inf- infinite. Oh, okay. Maybe. So if you land outside of that of that cube. I you know what? I'll 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 take that. You know, here here's what I think is gonna happen momentarily. Yes. Is that I mean we see in the Tenkaichi tournament last time. Mm-hmm. People were flying all over the place. True. Did not get ring out. You're right. Because they did not land. I think that's what they're saying. Yeah. He did, but he did land. He landed. He landed outside of the ring. Mm. Either way, he pulls off a sick oh. technique to Look, save his bacon. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's go into the Oh, recap. dang it. I opened this box, and then I wanted to close the door. <laughs> no. Aaron I think won't the fly- let me because okay. he's, he's, he's Just persistent. Let me, my foot's in the door real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ma'am, sir, look, you need this product in your life, and also- <laughs> Yes, I'd love new knives. <laughs> <laughs> I think, if nothing else, there's definitely going to be some talk for next th- for the next tournament. Yes. On whether that counts. I, I guarantee there's some sore losers mm-hmm. who are going to complain, but- Anyway, let's get to the like actual cool thing. Yeah, so the actual cool thing is Goku is dive bombing at King Choppa. Um, King Choppa's like, I got you, kid. Like, you're falling. You can't can't dodge. Goku opens his mouth and breathes to stop his <laughs> descent. And then gives a swift kick to King Choppa, knocking him out of the ring. And in my notes, I just wrote, dope. <laughs> Because that was so cool. That's It's insane. Okay. We've all seen hovercrafts. We've all been eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. And those things, think about the amount of power that requires them to lift off the ground. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'll do a modern example. You've seen those water-powered jetpacks that people like use on lakes and things? Now I'm understanding. Okay. Yeah, said yeah, yeah, the yeah. audience member. <laughs> All right, think about how much power is pumping through that to lift a person off the ground. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's how much came out of his mouth. Yeah, there was enough force. There was enough, like, pressure to stop him, like, feet above the ground. Not inches, feet. Uh, And with with precision. Yes. It was, Mm. it's a cool, it's a cool scene. It's a cool scene. It's a cool move. I know, he's, like I said, he's getting, he's getting... He was powerful before, but he's getting super powerful now. Exactly. It's and uh, Jackie Chun, a.k.a. Roshi in disguise, uh, he is shook. Yeah. Like, we get the the blue vignettes over his eyes as they shake mm. with f- confusion and frustration because Roshi is actually, like, this is where Roshi gains some dimension in his character. He's just like... As the student surpass the master? That's a technique I've never even seen before. Is he that far out of my league? And like it continues to when he gets called up to fight. Just and, and again, so you get sort of a reference for things. When he when Goku steps off the stage, Krillin's like, hey, that was great, but you don't wanna, you know, go all out yeah. in the preliminaries. And then Goku says, uh, to paraphrase Goku. He's like, no, I did take it easy. If I didn't, he would have died. Oh shoot! Whoa! So, so this is we don't get that in the in the English version. <laughs> he's not, yeah. And he says it in you know in that weird, casual about life and death manner that Goku is known for. Yeah. Oh my gosh, man, that's but, savage, Goku. Yeah, but it's not, it it adds the, to the coolness of it, right? To me, it's not his full power. Like, and uh, it, it just for parody's sake i guess for the english version when krillin asks him that question he goes oh i know i've still got lots of techniques that i'm not that i know i should hold off until the finals for and like then of course everybody's like what more techniques <gasps> uh, <nani?"> uh, <laughs> I, i'm just i'm jazzed i'm ready I, i'm yeah. like bring on bring on this tourney it's gonna be some good fighting um but and first. then yeah but but first jackie chun's up next and like we said, he's in my notes. I said Roshi is having a, a full on breakdown while he's while he steps up into the ring. Like he's just hand hand on chin, just like what what am I going to do with myself? Like, he's just frozen. He's frozen with the fear that Goku is like that good. Yeah, he's got a bear person, bear pig person, bear man. Yeah. 
A bear man pig person. Bear man pig person. Uh, just who's pissed. He's like, are you making fun of me? And just runs towards him because Roshi isn't responding to anything. He's stuck in his head. Yeah. And then we get, another, I thought this was another good, like, um, another cool animation thing that they did. Because like it, it's in the same vein of the Goku fight. Like, the animation is smooth, it's crisp, and you can, like, you feel each connected hit that Roshi does to this bear man. He, he takes him out in three three hits. Um, he uses a little too much force. He even yeah. says, oh, I forgot how strong I was for a second there. So tell me if you get the... Here's what I got from that. Is uh, during the fight, did Man Bear Pig Person, did he occasionally flash into looking like Goku? Yes. Okay. So my thinking is that Roshi, he got, he got scared. I think so too. Oh man, it's Goku. I better go hard in the paint. Yep. And there is almost a murder. Yeah, I think if Roshi hadn't come out of it or realized that he wasn't fighting Goku, mm-hmm. he he would have killed that man bear pig. Yeah, um, it would have been man bear pig slaughter. Man man bear pig slaughter. <sighs> and in and in the Dragon Ball universe, <laughs> ooh ooh, that is a hefty penalty. That's actually first degree murder. <laughs> <laughs> That's AP murder. Advanced placement. Advanced placement murder. Uh, <laughs> I got to study hard for this AP murder test. I'm mur- <laughs> My teacher says I'm murdering at a college level. <laughs> is what Goku's been told. That's, what, that's exactly what Goku's been told. Yeah, isn't that what martial arts is? It's uh, advanced. <laughs> it's advanced. It, it's killing. Advan- God, it is, isn't it? Yes. It's advanced styles of killing. Because sure, you could just hit somebody really hard with a rock and kill them. But why not do it with style? <laughs> look, I understand the benefits of martial arts. Bill, you look, I've seen Tiger Shulman's <laughs> ads. Keep going. <laughs> for martial arts. The confidence building. Mm-hmm. The physical fitness. Yep. The Check. ability to crush a man's uh, nasal cavity. Check. Ramming the cartilage into his brain, instantly killing him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Check, check, check. These are all things my eight-year-old needs to know how to do. Breaking cement bricks with their yeah. bare hands. Like, that's that's crazy, right? Yeah. It, when, you, when you step back out of the fact that it's martial arts and it's super fucking cool. Mm-hmm. And it, it has a lot of other purposes than killing. Yeah, yeah. Most Be, of like, martial arts was not invented... For phys- to yeah, harm yeah, yeah. people. Look, we know, guys. We just look. Let us goof around a little. Yeah, bit. we're goofing. Don't get off our dicks. About get this. off. Get off the tips. Get, <laughs> get on get these off. joke tips. <laughs> look, I took taekwondo for a hot minute, and I the first time I broke a board, man, I felt cool. <laughs> yeah, dude, that that stuff is awesome. The point of breaking boards to me is like, look how fucking cool I am. Yeah, that's it, like I. That's it. That's all it is. And it's exponential, the number of bricks under boards. Yeah. yeah Only yeah. increases the coolness. There's no diminishing returns. Nope. You're never going to get bored. Oh. Get it? From breaking boards. Yeah. I never got there in my uh, karate career. Um, I, I don't even think I really changed belts. Uh, I mean, neither did I. <laughs> but them, them, them geese, oh, that starchy, starchy fabric. And the smell of those clean mats every morning on Saturday was fantastic. Here's the thing. In mine, I never got a gi. You were just in streets? I was in sweats because I don't think you needed it. With, with what I was in, you didn't have to buy a gi mm-hmm. until you went to yellow belt from white belt. Ah. And then, yeah, we just never bought a gi because I never went to yellow belt. Well, yeah. I mean, you saved yourself a bunch of money. I'm sure my parents have my gi from when I was like Aww. seven somewhere because they don't throw things out. Mom, Dad, if you're listening, let's start. Let's start cleaning out that garage. Come on. I mean, I could probably fit into that into your seven year old gi. <laughs> That's right. I'm a giant person, <laughs> or at least one of the cats. Hmm. Mm. Mm. I would love I'd- to dress my cats up in little <laughs> little geese. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So when they bat at each other, yeah. I can put oh. sound effects to it, like whoosh, yeah, yeah. Whoosh, 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 tape whoosh, little whoosh. nunchucks to their paws. Yep, yep. Man, this is. I 
Look, look. Oh, after it, the, oh, oh, after this, I'm gonna go look up some uh, cat karate video. <laughs> cat karate. Speaking of short video clips in a sequence, segue uh, on fire. Yeah, it's time for a montage of the of a good bit of the prelims. Uh, our our Tenkai Chi tournament song is back. Yes, uh, and I got. One. I finally got the music. Ten Kai Chi. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll get it. I'll get it. Ten Kai Chi. So the so there there are a few. They change it up. They change some of the lyrics up on mine. Oh okay. Uh, and here's some choice ones. <clears throat> I mean, right off the bat, it's quote, grab the romanticism. Ten Kai Chi. Oh okay. All right. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Keep grab, going. Uh, yeah, grab hold of that. Oh you don't want you don't never let go. <laughs> Goku takes to the air with his twirling tail. There goes Krillin unleashing an amazing move. <laughs> I, I like. those. I mean, those are the big ones. Yeah. My big question is, how do you grab romanticism? It sounds like something you... I, it sounds like a question that's posed at the end of a philosophy 101 class mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that you have to think about or return with your answer. And it's the thing where it's like, sometimes there is no answer. Okay, students, for your midterm, um, all you got to do is tell me uh, how do you grab romanticism. Okay? What? It's, philo- just, it's philosophy 201. Uh, I just studied Nietzsche the whole, <laughs> the whole term. Well, Tad, if you uh, had showed up to class, um. then uh, this wouldn't be an issue for you. Um, please open your booklets and begin. You have an hour and a half. Oh, oh God. Feel free to ask me any question. Any question you want. Oh, there's like eight pages. Are we supposed to fill them all out? All right. Romanticism is... Um, I raised... <laughs> someone, uh, Tad's raising his hand. Oh, okay. Uh, Tad? Tad? What, what's going on? What's going on, kid? What's going on, buddy? Um, are we talking about the classical definition of romanticism uh, as found in, you know... Such authors as Jane Austen. Oh, okay. No, Are we that, talking more of a modern idea? You know, uh, you know, Tad. Uh, that's a that's a really good question, and uh, I'd like to answer it for you, but well, I won't. You said you'd answer any question. Oh, I did say I would answer any question. Uh, um, well, how about this? It. Yep. It's how, how about? Oh uh, no, no. I will honor <laughs> that I said that, and I will say yes. Okay. I will say yes oh, to your question. Oh man. Uh. Oh, it seems like uh, too Ryan and Jenny have already finished. Thank you. What? Thank you. I'll take your book. Ryan, well, Jenny, what'd you get? What'd you put down for the only answer? I ain't telling you nothing. And I'm uh, not telling you nothing. Get a Ryan, I didn't ask you. You did. We're rivals. We are rivals. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to beat you. I sw- I'll, see, I'll see you on the soccer field. Cured. Ooh, yep, I'm a goalie. Yeah, and I'm, and they'll, they'll and I'm the starting off. goalie. <laughs> and they'll kick me off the team if I don't ace this. And see. Oh, oh, you don't want to continue with the, that weird color scene. <laughs> I mean, the answer could have been, you can't grab romanticism. Oh, I bet that's what they put, those crafty bastards. Oh, yeah. That's worth a C, I think. It's worth a C. Like, you didn't show your work. <laughs> or cite your references. Yeah, you didn't cite your reference, dum dum. Oh, I'm sure we just gave everyone like who's been familiar with that sort of sec- post secondary education. Uh, yeah, even non uh, pre secondary education. Uh, some panic. Oh yeah, and that ain't that ain't our means. No, no, our, no, no, no. Trust no. me. When We're just you get a goof. When you get there, it's not gonna be that bad. Nobody's scary. Even though I did, I uh, when I was in school. Uh, mm-hmm. I heard about a philosophy teacher that did that for their one did that for a one on one class. Um, basically, their final exam, he put a chair on a desk and was like, um, "Tell me, like, prove to me that this chair exists." Um, and one of the students, or like, it was like, "Prove to me that this chair either does or does not exist," or something like that. And one student just wrote in that whole booklet, like what chair question mark and handed it in and uh Ooh, a plus i got an a yeah <laughs> nice Ooh, i don't think i think that only happens uh, like once to a new professor 
I like they'll they let that slide <laughs> they, once. Yeah, they're like, uh, we love <laughs> look, love the enthusiasm, love the thinking outside of the box, but uh, cut that shit out. <laughs> it's it's multiple choice or short answer. That's it's how we do things. That's it. <laughs> Uh, Scantron that shit out, please. <laughs> no, this, what is a chair bullshit? Um, oh, my is, God. They pay too much for that. <clears throat> we get it. You philosophize. Just stick to the fucking script, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> You're making us all fucking look bad. Econ professors won't even, won't even sit with us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the whole heap, look, even the humanities are against us. They they don't even talk about anything. It's all feelings and shit. The arts are giving us dirty looks, those losers. Fucking elect fucking elective. <laughs> shit. <laughs> right. The infighting in colleges. <laughs> and uh, scene. These are all too yeah, end scene. This is too close to home, man. Yeah, man. The rivalries between uh departments is real. Real. Oh. Between and within. Between and within. Um, but I mean, after this good, good montage, they say, hey, we're going to take an hour break. <laughs> yeah. Goku goes running off for lunch. Yep. And uh, yeah, that's our commercial. That's our commercial. Ugh, what strange realm is this? Oh, I see. I'm in an ad. Hello, I'm Kratos, the god of war. And I'm here to tell you. You should listen to this comedy house party podcast. My boy loves it. And you know what he does to show his appreciation for it? He gives a five-star review and leaving comments for them to read. He tells me that they will read anything that is put in the description of their review. But make sure it's five stars to help them achieve their goal of becoming the number one searched podcast on iTunes. Remember that, or I'll be coming to wage war on your ears. Kratos, out. Come, boy. We have killing to do. A good message in that ad, I'd say. We've, we all learn something about ourselves and each other. And that's what ads are all about. Mm hmm. So now that that now, now that we now that we did that contractual like we love the ad thing blah blah yeah. blah. Um, now that we service the man, yeah, we only do it to make sure our content remains perfect for you, pristine. We don't want the man touching it, so we appease yeah. them with that. Here you go. Here's your sixty seconds of hor- of horse shit. That's right. Of corporate greed. <laughs> Cor- Corporate greed, money Ugh. grubbing. We have a campaign goal. Just like our Z fighters have a goal of <laughs> relaxation. Well, the well, the the, uh, so, the the other characters, the Bulmas, the Oolongs, the Poirs, Bulmas Brigade. the Bulmas Brigade. Uh, Can we now that they're now that like we're sort of filling the group up, mm-hmm. and they're you know, look, it's. In, in, uh, in a little bit, we're going to get to where we have to call them Z-Fighters. True. Who are the other people? Oh. So if if ex, if these people if, are Z-Fighters, yeah. then what are the these The Fighting other Boys are Z-Fighters, Z-Warriors, what have you. Mm. Mm. Who, are, who are the non... Who are the non-fighters? Z... The why? The why are we here? <laughs> the uh, comic relief. Uh, I definitely think once we get to Z though, and the rest, uh, we call them and the rest. <laughs> <laughs> so and the rest are out enjoying the uh, the kind of street fair that's going on outside the the tournament outside of the preliminaries. There, there are games being played. Oolong's blowing all his zenny trying to catch a fish in a net, but it's like yeah. a paper net. Yeah, so I've seen this. So I've never can, seen this. If I can uh, let my weeb out a little bit. Weeb on, from, brother. Look, what's the point of having a Funimation? This is not an ad, but what's the point of having a Funimation subscription to watch Dragon Ball if you're just going to watch Dragon Ball? I, yeah. I've, been, I've been perusing some of the other more recent animes, and there's usually a festival episode. 
And there's this weird ass game where they try and catch fish. I don't necessarily understand it. And per usual, I didn't do research. Oh. And if someone wants to tell us more about it, but it seems like they're trying to get it onto a small platform. Yes. But it's like it's like a hoop with paper in it. But mm-hmm. The paper is kind of weak. So if you don't do it right, the fish will just break through. Right. I.e. a scam. Yeah. But it it, it seems like from like from the eye test, I wouldn't even try it. It's like, oh, you want me to catch a you want me to catch a fish with this hoop with paper in it, and I have to put the hoop with paper in water? Nah, that ain't me. That is like, nah, nah, son. I'll 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 catapult a frog into lily pads all day. Give me some sponge frogs. I'll throw them in a lily pad. Look, those milk bottles are not all coming down, but I'll try. But I'll try my hardest. Oh, oh, you want to you want to know something real cool? I yeah. did that once. I knocked down all the milk what? bottles. Once. I was at Universal Studios. We were in the section of the park near Dueling Dragons. So it was like kind mm-hmm, of mm-hmm. Uh, medieval. And like it was pretty slow over there. And so uh, it was like me and my mom and my dad, I think. And uh, I'm like, hey, can I have five? Like I'm going to, I want to, I want to do this thing. So I get three throws. Dad slaps your hand. Well, pretty much my dad's like, all right, fine, but you're not going to win. And I want, and what I wanted to win was a big stuffed Scooby-Doo figure, like one of the Ooh. hard stuffed ones. And he was wearing a wizard hat and a cape. Um, <laughs> and I really wanted it. And uh, I, I did it. I knocked it down on the first throw. Like I hit, I hit Damn. it dead on. The bottles went off the thing. All of them fell. My mom was cheering me on like, like a good like. <laughs> Your like dad was good, pissed. Well, he was just like, "All right, good for you." I wanted uh, to uh, wanted to teach him a lesson about responsibility, but thanks a lot. Universal. Well, then he taught me the lesson that I have to carry it. <laughs> <laughs> so I carried it everywhere, uh, <laughs> all day. Oh uh, boy! But the guy, yeah, you, the guy was very much like, "Oh wait, what? Oh damn it!" <laughs> he was uh, like, uh, "I forgot to turn the magnets on." Yeah, it was something like that. So I. I I don't think it was all me. I think it was a uh, there had to be other things happening for that for me for me to win that thing. But I still I have mean, it hanging in know. my room. Oh Scooby wow! Doo, wa- looking down on me <laughs> in my between, room at home. It's between. Oh, I thought you meant your room in New York. No, 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 not in my New York. He he Bet- couldn't make between sure. between me and the missus. <laughs> I keep Scooby on the bed. <laughs> that's that's his home. Save a spot for Scoob. Yeah, <laughs> See, it's, it's it's like Passover dinner. Yep, save a spot for Elijah. I save a spot for Scooby. <laughs> Not Ooh, look at this Fred. <laughs> Scoob, hey, you finally made it. <laughs> Who's in charge of the shader? <laughs> oh well, that that falls on Great Uncle Robbie. You know, this is, he likes oh. to run Seder. Well, well Mazel. Mazel Scoob. Is that bad? Is this bad just having Scooby Doo say things related to Passover? Why? Is Scooby exclusively a Christian cartoon? <laughs> he's a he's a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> little, little did we know. Scooby Doo was actually created by oh. the Vatican. <laughs> yeah. In conjunction with he the is, Globetrotters. He is, he is hardcore Catholic. Scooby is the most Catholic. Old, you know, like old woman going to church every Sunday Catholic. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what's in those Scooby snacks? Body of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Eating unleavened. Only Aaron, fi- he only I'm, eats he only eats fish on Friday. He only eats fish on Friday. I mean, it's still a lot, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a great deal of fish. Yeah, oh, Great Danes worth of fish. Uh, I cracked myself up on that one. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's why they give him courage that's oh. wait hold on i don't think you're wrong because traditionally if we can talk about american cartoons for a second yeah let's do this it's him and shaggy are like oh we're scared to go into this place we're like but would you do it for a scooby snack mm-hmm. and i think what it is is they're like we can't go in there if we die we're not absolved of all our sins <laughs> <laughs> but if we eat this Eucharist, we good to go, baby. Oh, Let's you're, go. A, you're a sick, sick man, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. If we're say that's what it is, it is I'll oh. justify the fuck out of it. Aaron, I think you got you better push this button. 
<laughs> you better push that button, Aaron. All right. Uh, as this tradition, look, Scoopy Snacks, Buddy Christ. <laughs> and that's canon, not Nick Cannon. Zoice. It's Rue. It's Rue. Look, we all just want to do Scooby Doo impressions. I think it's that's really mostly that's, what this was was set yeah. up for us to do Scooby Doo impressions, <laughs> and now the podcast is over. We've done it. Yeah. All right, it's over, folks. Our ultimate goal. Uh, so, look, I was gonna, I was going to segue into you knocking bottles over to another character with the rest of the <laughs> and the rest. <laughs> it's uh, launch is at some sort of shooting game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She is unsurprisingly good at it until the uh, the person running the booth uh, pleads, please don't use a real gun, miss. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, pretty much the same on my end. He, the, the guy running the game is like, all right, lady, like, enough. You're not supposed to be using live rounds. But it seemed like she could have brought her own air pistol if she had one. I don't know. Um, I'm not, I, I don't think we need to get too far into that. Um, <laughs> no. Well, she does demand. She's like, I want a prize. And he, he goes to hand her a stuffed animal, uh, a Scooby-like animal. <laughs> a Scooby-like and, animal, yes. And and she's like, no, money. Oh, she asked for money? What do you, so, so I'm curious if she, she didn't realize the premise of the game. She was just doing a robbery. <laughs> Yeah, so By they accident. they don't. She doesn't outright say money. Instead, she's like, "I'm gonna need something a little bit more." Sorry. I think she says something along the lines of, "I'm gonna need something way better than that," and points the gun at the guy again. So I think she does. Mm. I think she does at the end get money, uh, but it, it's more tongue and cheek there. Uh, but uh. again, launch feminist icon. She doesn't want no stuffed animal. Yeah, she's gonna use live rounds. I don't need because that's her because that's her womanly right. I don't have, I don't want no Cupid doll. Mm-mm-mm. I want to kill me a doll. <laughs> uh, I want something yeah. to hide weapons in. Uh, besides these shorts. <laughs> besides these shorts and this bow. Launch might be one of the best characters in DBZ. I mean, in, mm-hmm. well, in Dragon Ball. Yeah. She continues she continues a strong, a strong front for character of the year. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're Look, we're keeping tally. Mm-hmm. Because you know who's, you know who's not look, getting getting it right now, based on her performance in this uh, tournament, Bulma. Can I tell yeah. you why? She didn't beat anyone. <laughs> she didn't beat anyone or win First anything, and she complained about not being able to go see the tour, like go see the fighting. When uh, you're an inventor, young lady, you've got capsules out the wazoo. There's got to be something you could do to get put you on a disguise. It. Put on a disguise. Get crafty with it. But instead, she just eats sweets and gets them all over her face. Uh, she's eating yakitori. She's eating that yakitori like, like nobody's watching. Mm, 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 mm. Have some decorum. <laughs> Speaking of eating like nobody's watching, <laughs> that is that is Goku's philosophy to a T. Bang. Because that's what he's doing. He's just chowing down. Yep. Uh, I call this scene fighter's lunch. <laughs> <laughs> In my well, notes. Well, that's what it is. It's... I think this is the first time we've seen this, but Goku eats to the point of nearly choking to death until he is offered water by Krillin. And we've look, we've joked about this before. We've off we've off joked about the end of Dragon Ball. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is one of the our th- theoretical this, endings. Absolutely. So it's it's not too far fetched. He was he was kind of powerless. Yeah. I think Goku's gonna go the way of a of a of a dog getting in the garbage, man. He's just gonna find a chicken bone. Yeah, he's gonna find that bone. Can't uh, stop him. He don't know better. <laughs> What's in your mouth? Hey, hey, hey. Get, give it here, <clears throat> Goku. Give it to me. Hit the back of his head. Hey, <clears throat> hey. Ah, <clears throat> uh, jeez. Oh, Come on. Uh, <clears throat> nope. Open. Open. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, I throw it. <laughs> Goku runs after. Pretty much. Uh. But right after that, you know those those dang mercenaries. You know what I'm saying? They they won't they won't leave well enough alone. Tian makes a big fuss about the food being bad, insults the cook, 
Mm-hmm. And uh, Chao Tzu just plays with his food like a ghost child. Chao Tzu Wait, is because he can't eat it because he's a fucking ghost. He's a, okay. Are we? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Uh, but yeah, Chao Tzu is being I don't, I don't the creepy. Want to be wrong. <laughs> he's being the creepy, creepy child. The creepy, creepy child. <laughs> just spinning what looked to me like buttered grits. Do they look like grits to you? I was gonna say eggs. Eggs, grits. Who's eating I mean, eggs? Breakfast. For lunch? Yeah, it's it's lunch. Who's eating grits for lunch, fool? All right, I, I That's eat grits breakfast for lunch. Or dinner. Hell yeah. That's breakfast, brunch, dinner. Breakfast, brunch, and dinner, baby. Grits. <laughs> <laughs> You're not about it. Be about it. Put some shrimp on it and call it a day. Go home. You're done. <laughs> done. <laughs> yeah, Chelsea's just fucking creepy in all this. He's man. getting creepier because he he doesn't say anything this entire no scene. I mean, I'm surprised like weird Jack in the Box music didn't play. It, oh man! As he's just dead, dead-eyed, staring into the camera, I'll spinning. I'll fight you first. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. As he sticks you're his short, tongue out, you're short. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Unlike me, a tall boy. <laughs> Mummy says I'm very tall. Oh. Blah, blah. Ugh. I'm the tallest boy. That's why she had to die. Oh, oh. Uh. Anyway, bye. <laughs> oh, where'd you go? <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, we didn't see. Look, we don't see Chaozu fight. No, we, yeah, ever. we have not seen Chaozu fight. Mm-hmm. But uh, we assume Did that he's been getting through. Yeah, he can't just hang out. So yeah, this is this is my emotional support, Chaozu. <laughs> He's very well I trained. Have, I have these papers. <laughs> Won't you accept these papers for my emotional support, Chao Tzu? I mean, look, they let him on the plane. <laughs> they let that turtle on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> hey, <right. laughs> hey, I, I'm sentient. Yeah, I'm calling you out. I'm sentient, okay? So is Chao Tzu. I have a child. <laughs> and there's a proof sentience. Oh, I guess you're did right you, Did you take that philosophy 101 class? Uh, with Professor Bleeker? Yeah, uh, of course. Prove that there's a chair. What a dick. No, well, who does that? Uh, anyway. Hey, man, you want to get a drink after this? Damn right. Ketchup. Yeah. Hey, go, Spart- go Spartans. Go Spartans. <laughs> Woo. Woo wee. <laughs> and seed. And seed. Oh, they're old college buddies. That's yeah, cool. Turtle's got an old college bud. Hey. Man, there I wish go. I could go to college. He's educated. With if I went to college with Turtle, I'd be so well connected. Ooh. I know. Hijinks. Well, you'd be in Skull and Bones. <laughs> Did you know? Yeah, I knew. <laughs> turtle's deep. Yo, Turtle's so deep. Oh, he's Turtle's got, the oh. deepest. They got tapes on each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, we won't get into that, because that's weird and gross if true. <laughs> uh, so Yamcha, in this moment, is like, Stepping his game up, he got that haircut. He's got the he's got the skills now, and he he's he wants it. He wants to fight Tien bad. Oh, he's it's just a scene in a high school movie in the cafeteria. Hundred percent, he's a bully, and Yamcha's gonna save the nerd. Yamcha's gonna save that chef. nerd, save that chefy nerd. Yep. Uh, but Jackie Chun steps in and is like, "You don't want to do this right now. Save it for the ring." Yeah. You know, it's going to be... Okay. To reiterate, I don't know how this tournament ends. I don't know how each individual fight ends. But boy, oh boy, is it going to be really hard <laughs> when Tien beats the shit out of Yamcha. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's going to be hard yeah. to watch. That's gonna, it's it's going to really hurt his pride, our pride. There's going to be a lot of, like, Balma being like, I can't watch this. Oh. Uh, we're broken up again, And I poor, think. <laughs> she's going to dump him after that. Poir is going to disavow him. Ah, Yasha, you lost. You suck. Ah. Fly away. Oolong's pissed. I had a hundred thousand zenny on you. Way to lose, loser. And then, I can't be seen with you. <laughs> and then Lodge, of course, pulls out her nine, pops Tien in the head. That's it. That's how, that's that's how the tournament yeah. ends. <laughs> I'll show pen- you. The penalty is murder. <laughs> the penalty of winning is murder. But yeah, it's because I mean I'm gonna be upset because uh, I am I am liking what Yamcha's doing. Yamcha, 
as much of a fucking goober as he is, he's a good dude. Yeah. You know. He's showing it. Mm-hmm, he really mm-hmm, is. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah, I don't think he's just trying to be tough. I think he sees a a bully and he's not, you know, he's not letting that stand. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, that's hey, praiseworthy. That's it. Like uh, and part of me feels like if I was watching this in real time, you know, uh, like watching it as it came out uh, and all that kind of stuff, like Yamcha would seem pretty darn cool, you know? Yamcha yeah. would be that cool guy. And that's why the turn when we get to Z is oh, so, yeah. it's so hard. But oh, for now, many... Yamcha's riding high. Yeah. Top of, you know, top of his game. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> and Tien even acknowledges that he is, he's, he's strong. He's like, he, he's good. He's not going to beat me, but he's still holding back and he's making it look good, like that kind yeah. of thing. I mean, to the point where, like, when when Tien decides to walk away, it's you just escaped death. You should thank that old geezer. Yep. Come on, Tien. Yeah, that's what every bully says when they're forced to walk away. <sighs> You're lucky this time. Ugh, next time I'll beat you up. When the uh. principal's not looking, no one else is around. <clears throat> when I've gotten eight hours of sleep, if I had three full meals, got my chicken tendies from Ma. <laughs> Finished uh, all my homework. Yeah, my shoes are tied tight. I'm not I'm not wearing school clothes. I'm wearing clothes I can get dirty in. Yeah, yeah, I'm wearing my favorite uh, Hulk shirt. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of stipulations, man. We, I mean, I'll fight now. I don't I, care. We can fight now. No, no, no. I got, I got to make sure it's right. Got to make sure it's right. You know, the perfect fight doesn't exist. I think I feel like these are just excuses you're making. You sound just so like my dad. Uh, oh, psychi- the psychiatrist? Yes. <laughs> and see. And see. Uh, don't, don't see your own children if you're a counselor. That's, that's, a, that's the biggest conflict of interest. That is a no-no faux show. Mm-hmm. Speaking of family and familial feelings... Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a bad transition, but we do see a familiar face. Ooh, yes. Uh, familiar face. A familiar face. It yeah, works. It, works. it works. checks out. Yeah. <laughs> it passes It passes the draw out test. <laughs> you got to draw it out to make sure it works. Uh, but Nam shows up. Nam, yeah. our, our good buddy from, from that desert village with no water that, mm-hmm. that Goku little, gave water to. A little bit older, a little bit wiser. His village is doing well. Yeah. So he's just thriving even. Yeah, he's just here. He's just here for fighting now. He, yeah. He said he wanted, he's like, I want to fight Goku again. See what's up. Yep. And then we get a dumb flashback. It's a long one too. Oh, it's like two minutes. Or like, we gotta fill two minutes. All right, let's remind everyone who this is. All the highlights and all the faces of Nam. Yeah. Nam is very expressive in a way that I totally forgot. Okay, then they make a big deal about saying, okay, Nam isn't in any of the brackets of the Z-Boys. So they're like, I'm sure you'll make it to the tournament. And again, I don't know what happens next, but I just want everyone to know that... Hold on, take this part. Like, Look, I made a prediction of what's going to happen. Uh-oh. Vince, I, I wrote it down and mailed it to you. Oh, okay. Yep. And at the and at the right time, I want you to open it. My prediction about Nam. Okay. Okay. But like, I just want everyone to know I called it. I saw that coming from a mile away. You probably have two audience and also fins. I you know what? I actually did not. Really? Okay. I I, I went I and then, you know, after you I think you're just an optimist, and that's what it I think that's probably what it boils down to. It's <laughs> that's like, the that's oh, the great a, a Nam and Goku rematch. Yeah, if you are if you're an optimist, you you believe a rematch. <laughs> so we after that, they wow, they skim through the rest of the preliminaries. Yes. Krillin they, does punch a uh, gator in the tummy. Yeah. I, I mean, that's their softest spot. Everybody knows it. Mm-hmm. Punch there for pain. <laughs> but yeah, all of our Z boys and Jackie Chun make it. They get to the Tenkaichi tournament. So that's, so that's four warriors that we know about. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're all celebrating until, and Vince, now is the time to open that envelope oh, okay. and read what's inside. The Fate of Nam. 
Oh, okay. Aaron uh, dated this uh, 428, and it says mm-hmm. Nam is going to die. Yep. I was kind of right. <laughs> you were you're kind of right. <laughs> I mean, you were closer I, I, than wait, me. Wait, wait, wait. If you flip, wait, flip it over to the back. Oh, oh, oh. Because I oh, think I say okay. by who. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, by, and it, it's written very large. Uh, yeah. By TN's hand. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Look, I paid a lot for the overnight shipping. I want to make sure we read all of it. Also, there's really good paper stock. Expensive stuff. I, I splurged. You did. Go ahead, I mean, girl. I got a, I got a calligrapher. Ooh, is that is that mm. why? Is that yeah. why it feels so good to the touch? Yeah, you got the, I mean, that wax seal mm-hmm, mm-hmm. with the picture of my face. Yes, yes. I mean, the detail in it, too. It was like looking at you. Mm. A red, shiny version of you. A red me, yes. But yeah, Nam almost dies. Yes. To the point where they have to get medical assistance. But it's Tien. Tien knocked that sucker out. Yeah, Tien did some serious damage on our boy Nam. Uh, to the point where I think Tien says, uh, like after the uh, EMTs are like, he he suffered some serious head injuries and uh, all this, but he he'll he'll live. And Tien is like, hmm, yeah, sure, he'll live, but he'll never fight in another tournament again. I was like, damn it, Tien! Uh, I never get to see Nam's technique evolve. Nope. No, I really wanted I wanted to see Nam fight. I wanted to see like what new stuff he had. It wasn't as ominous in that in mine. Oh, okay. Where it's. He just says, I doubt he'll ever want to fight again. To the oh. point where like he beat him so he beat him so bad, he done that, scared to fight. Yeah. Yeah, in mine it was more of I hurt him in a way yeah. that he will he won't be able to fight at this yeah. level ever. I think that's the idea. You we've we've seen Tien do some dirt to a friend. Yep. To the point that Goku Goku now was to run gonna, off to fight him. Goku was yeah. about to Get that sucker. Mm-hmm. Jackie Chun has to stop him. Mm-hmm. Keep, geez. It's like, can't anyone just keep it in their pants? They're fighting boners. Hold off, man. You get that many, you get that many fighting, fighting boys in the, in, in the yeah. same room. Ooh, that They're testosterone gonna, that, flow. Uh, yeah. Other thing, too. Uh, that place has got a... St- it just has to reek to right? high heaven, my man. Oh. You're nailing it on the head. That place got to smell like fan. crap. That's why they took the break. Let's say they had to air that shit out. <laughs> the refs couldn't take it. Oh, we got a. It's like an inch of pools pools of sweat just on the mat. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. They don't wipe. Yeah, and these are these these fighters. They don't wipe down the equipment. <laughs> oh no, not even a little bit. Mm-mm. They don't care. Not like even that. when little handy wipes are provided. Oh. Man, if I don't, I don't belong to a gym right now. But I, mm-hmm, I'm gonna mm-hmm. start going again. It's beach season. Um, <laughs> but like, if if I see one of these gosh darn animals, and, and I'm talking male and female, get off a piece of equipment without wiping it down after, I'm I'm gonna start saying something because it, it it really does bother me that you don't have the common courtesy. To wipe off, wipe your sweat off of something that somebody else yeah. has to use, like it's yeah, just even rude. even you al- even you alligator people, alligator folk. Well, even you though know, you don't sweat, you don't sweat, but your scales they they linger uh, and they're hard. To, once they get grounded into the carpet or or onto anything, they're hard to remove. Not to I mean, and the other animals that do sweat, like bears with their hair, bears Ugh. in their hair, bears in their hairs, Mm-mm-mm. sweating in their tears. Indecent. In indecent. But I, I gotta say, human beings are the worst. Because we ha- we That's sweat true. through our skin way yeah. easier. How gross. How rude. How rude are we? Uh, keep uh, keep that sweat in your pants. Body? <laughs> tongue? Yeah, sweat through your tongue. Please. Sweat through your tongue. Like yeah, let's nor- all learn let's all like, learn to pant. Like the rest of the world. <laughs> And by world, I mean non-human beings. Yeah. When I was little, my p- folks would like watch those weird. I guess it'd be like Dateline or Twenty Twenty, 
It's like, this boy doesn't have sweat glands, and he has to wear a cooling suit whenever he goes outside. Oh, I remember those, yeah. These twins are allergic to sunlight and can only play outside or wear specialized helmets. Yep. I'm like, well, this, why are you making me feel bad? I'm eight. It, it did. It made me feel so bad. It's like, I've, I'm so lucky that I have all of my normal bodily functions. Yeah. Like, my only thing is, like, I can't see that well, but compared to not being able to sweat yeah. or, like, being, I'm allergic, I can't eat. I'm a literal vampire. Yeah. People, God, yeah. empathize. God empathize is what we're yeah. asking for. That's, uh, the only, that's the only answer to give. That's the only answer to give that there. situation. It's feel. Because, you know, if you don't feel, you end up being like Tien. And you're hurting people. Mm-hmm. And you're being a jerk. And, you know... Ugh, just don't do not do that. Don't be okay. TN. Don't be a TN. Be a launch. Help your friends out. Yeah, she, she oh, great segue into mm-hmm. uh, everyone steps out into the, I guess, festival area. They find out that all the Z-Boys are going to be in the tournament. Uh, but I guess there is, there's a little bit of concern about where Master Roshi is. Yep. Uh, Bulma proposes that he was in a crowd feeling up girls. In way too casual a manner, not like, not mad about it. Just saying it matter of fact. Matter of fact, yeah. Uh, she doesn't, I don't think that comes up in mine. She does say, like, what kind of master, like, isn't around to see his students succeed or something like that? And then Roshi claps back with, oh, I was there. I saw the whole thing. I was just sneaking around, Bulma. Yeah. I was doing it sneaky like. Yup. Which is true. That, that, this was, is true. He was uh, pretty sneaky about it. Mm. Mm, and hey. twirling mustache. <laughs> 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 so, and then I think the last bit of business is that fighters get called to the arena. There's some concern of, wait, you guys are all the way back here. Don't you need to grab seats? Yep. You're, you're not going to be able to see anything. I'm like, this- no, we're not worried. <laughs> Yeah, because Oolong, Oolong actually says, we've got launch. Anything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because females are strong as hell. This is true. And also, she has guns. And she has guns. <laughs> and launch casually just fires her pistol in the air while walking to front center stage of the Tenkaichi tournament. Yeah. Like a boss, the crowds we're, part. Look, man, where are the police in this? I, Bruh. I'll say it. Bruh, I don't know. And I don't care. Because let the fighters look, figure it out. Look, it's a great, yeah. It's a great time. The, the police are all just like, oh, fighters are in town. We could just relax. Ah, I love the Tenkachi tournament because that's when I get my donut eating in. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Being a Play. cop during the, being a Papaya Island cop. Oh, first of all, I mean, it's a pretty good gig. Hawaiian shirts for uniforms. That's right. Sandals for shoes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fun moped. sunglasses. A moped for each officer. And not to mention all the tanning oil you could ever ask for. Mm, delicious. <laughs> really soothes you on those hot days on Papa yeah. Island. Oh, so hot. And then the Tenkaichi tournament rolls around and we can just relax. Oh, yeah. Me, 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 me. And see. and see. Wow. Those dudes are uh, chill AF. I mean, they can sleep through gunfire. It's true. But that's uh that's it. Yeah. That's it for this episode. We're gonna I guess we'll find out. We know five of the five. We know five of the contestants. Mm-hmm. There are three more. I'm gonna guess Chiaotsu's one of them. Yes. Uh and then two more boys. But who are uh, those? Or maybe other a gal. Two? I don't know. Maybe a gal. Oh, <gasps> No, Ram. it couldn't. No, that's that's later. That's uh, I. Some, I thought it was going to be somebody else, but oh, I think I don't want. I don't want to spoil that um, because that is a really fun reveal. All right, way later in the series. All right, who's your okay? Do you know who wins this tournament? Uh, I do not remember. Okay, who's your who's your pick? Who's my pick? Yeah, who's gonna who's taking it home? Shoot. Um, I I you know what. Tien might take it home. I have to say Tien, man. I think it might be Tien. And and I'm I'm But he's going he's gonna go on a journey. 
Believe I, you I mean, me, he's yeah. going on some uh, kind of journey. He he's I mean, he's definitely gonna get humbled. Yes. But like I know there's like another tournament later on. Yep. So maybe I'm uh, you know, not playing fair, as it were, a little bit, but I'm like, oh, if there's another tournament, I feel like Goku can't win this one. Yeah. I feel like it's gotta be Tien. Has Goku won a tournament? I don't know. In the whole history don't tell of Dragon it. Ball. Don't tell it. Look. Don't tell us. You tell, yeah, we love when you tell us things, but this is one thing, like, please don't spoil. Mm-hmm. Please don't spoil this for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think it's Tien. Mark it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put me send, down for... We'll send each other envelopes with this written <laughs> yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we know. And it, look, if you want to send us electronic envelopes... Ooh. You can do so by writing to us at KameHousePartyPod at gmail.com. You can connect with us on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. Inst- or Instagram uh, by search by looking up. It's just Kame House Party, baby. Uh, That's it, and, baby. And uh, look, we got we got to give a shout out to. I'm not gonna say your boy. <laughs> that 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 title is already taken. It's a title. It, it's a title. Uh, it's it's a moniker. Taken. But at Son of Blaine, S O N O F B L A I N E. Uh, wrote to us on Twitter. Uh, he said, hey, come my house party. Just finished catching up with all of your episodes. Good man. And here's something to say also hello. Very impressive. Smiley face. Uh, and ladies and germs, this is our first piece of fan art. Woo! Uh, if you recall from two episodes back, uh, where Goku oh. killed a tiger and wore its skin like a loincloth, we suggested that, no, 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 they would be feety pajamas. Yes. So uh, that that is what uh, Son of Blaine drew for us, and it, it is it is hand drawn goodness. It is mm-hmm. it is beautiful. It, it makes my, me have all the feels. My favorite part is the X over the tiger eyes. Yes, that was a nice touch. So that yeah, was a find really us nice on, touch. look. Find us on those on on most social media platforms, and you can see for yourselves the good good job. And then maybe look. You you think you can top them, huh? Oh, big man, big guy, big girl, big person out there, huh? You think you got those big pants, those big boy pants, those big <laughs> big boy art pants? Prove it, yeah, prove it. Prove that you have the have the skill, or or not even the yeah. skill, just the desire. Yeah, draw that pre Scooby Doo. Oh yes, that's a good one. That's a oh, that's a gimme. <laughs> yeah, first taste is free. <laughs> If you just want to talk to us individually, well, shame on you. But also, you can do so by, uh, you can find Vince at V-I-N-T underscore E on Twitter and Instagram. And on PlayStation Network. Mm -hmm. Uh, You can find me on Twitter at Aaron J. Shelton. Instagram at Ajax Shelton. And then uh, I'm still away from the game. So don't even even trip, dog. (laughs) I'll say it later when I'm doing stuff you can actually play with me on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Um, then we just got to, you know, we wrap it up the way we always wrap it up. No matter mm-hmm. what you got going on out there in your world, uh, you got to remember to always keep, keep fighting. fighting. Yeah. Yeah.